Welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So today I wanted to bring you guys into my belt collection. I do not have a lot of belts but the ones that I do have they serve a purpose for everything. I think I have belts for every need with the exception of one belt that I want to purchase. Um, I'm just not too sure on the sizing yet. So let's jump right into it. So belts that I think that you should own in your wardrobe, and this is for any woman, tall women, um, slim women, plus size women, uh, petite women. Some of these belts for me accentuate my waist because I'm not the biggest as far as hips. So I need belts to help me give me the illusion. Now, I work out a lot, so I'm coming down on my weight. Some of the belts are slightly fitted. <laughs> so I'm glad that I can now like really have a good wear out of them. So let me jump right into it. This is the first belt. I'm gonna come a little closer so you guys can see. And the reason why I really, really like this belt is because the hardware is the color of the belt. This is from M.M. Lafleur. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous belt. I got a size large. I'm looking at the size. It's made in Italy. They run really small. So if you are have a little bit more weight around your waist, an extra large is it. I don't think they go past an extra large, but they do run small, but this is a really, really nice belt. And this is an example of buying a belt that's not necessarily name brand, or like with logos, that's really good quality. And it's a nice, pretty like, I don't know, I don't wanna say taupe color, but it's a really nice belt. It's thick, I love it. So this is something that I would wear all the time. You can wear it above your waist and you can definitely wear it a little bit lower than your waist if you have small, a small waist. So that's it there. So this is something that you should have in your wardrobe, this color. So if you do not, I don't know, I guess ladies, if you are trying to build a belt collection, try to start with colors that you're going to wear before you start diving into like bolder colors, right? Um, and if you do get something that's bold, I'll show you what you can possibly do. So this is the first belt. Try to have something like this in your wardrobe. Um, I'm gonna go into another belt that's pretty thick, and that's this belt. Can you guys see the hardware on this one? Okay. This one has like some gold buckles. Uh-oh. You guys already know. I'll be trying to focus the belt as gold. And this one is from All Saints. This is a medium. All Saints, they have really nice leather. I really, really like this belt. And I, I forgot how much I paid for this one. Um, and I think it was actually cheaper than the M.M. LaFleur one. But belts like this is something that I use quite a lot. Again, it doesn't have any logos on it, which I wanted. For me, sometimes having the choice to wear something that has a logo or something that doesn't is something that I need in my wardrobe. Like, it helps my wardrobe. Some dresses that I wear, I don't necessarily want a huge logo on my belt. So, in order for my wardrobe to be functional for me, I always find something in the same family that doesn't have logo. Or even sometimes, no color hardware. So that's another belt. So you wanna you wanna have like a I'm just dropping everything guys. <laughs> you wanna have a black and a neutral color belt wide width for your waist. Those can be worn with dresses, oversized shirts. Um I've seen girls wear them with jumpsuits, so just get creative with it, but you definitely need these two. I know M.M. LaFleur still has that belt. I, I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. And as far as All Saints, I don't know. But I will check for you guys. The next two belts are from Gucci. 
and to be quite honest I think I'm gonna try to get another belt like this so here is another belt similar color to the first neutral one but it's a small one and the reason why I like this one it's because it's more dainty right I may not always want to wear something that is extremely wide and I may want this or if I'm wearing it around my waist because it does fit my waist I believe this is an 85 I don't think this size is on here um but it's you could also wear it around around your waist so it's a good idea to get something different widths for your different outfits the other one that I have like this is the black one and I'll say this I still wear this belt it's small it's not um you know super big it's a nice size I wear this around my waist um it's small I didn't want anything super big so I did go for the smaller one not the really really large one now granted I do like really large belts but I didn't want anything with the huge logo which brings me to my next belt so this is something that you can wear around your waist often right so you want to make sure you have a belt that's good quality that you can wear now I think I've said this in the video that I did when I unboxed this a while ago that the Valentino belt is better quality in my opinion so again I didn't get the really really large one because it wasn't for me guys I keep looking at this I'm sorry um, I, I knew I didn't really want a really 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 large one it just wasn't something that I know that I would wear in my wardrobe and it was just too bulky for me um, so I got the medium size one so here's an example of trying to get something with two different colors they do have one with red so if you want a belt that has a pop go for something that is reversible the good thing about Valentino is that they do give you the two pieces so you wear whichever one you need for that day on whichever side you're wearing your belt I really like this belt and this is the perfect size sometimes I wear this around my waist even though it's not really big I just want to cinch it in just a bit and I'm good so this is double sided I would recommend always trying to go for something that's double sided if it's made really really well if it's not don't do it um but yeah if you're not into this you can definitely go for the Hermes belts, which are class classic as well. But I did hear people complaining about the hardware on the Hermes belt that it was scratching. I haven't had any issues with this belt and I've had it for quite some time. I bang it up, haven't had any issues. So here's another example of another waist belt that I think that you should have in your wardrobe. You do not need all of these belts, but they're all they all serve a different purpose. So you do not have to spend this much, but you want to get something that is leather. And so those are my waist belts. So that's five belts that I have. Not over the top. Okay. <laughs> not over the top. Just simple. More statement belts. You can definitely buy those, but make sure you have your basic essential belt. So I guess this is like a basic essential belt video, right? And then... The last belt that I want to show you guys is my Gucci chain belt. Now, I think every woman should own a chain belt. I do. My reason is because it's that effortlessly chic item that you need, right? So, let's see. And you guys know I love this belt. Uh-oh. put that over there and let's show you guys this is this belt is listen <laughs> I love this belt you hear me the quality Ooh, Chanel belt I don't I don't I know the Chanel belts are really nice as well but when I saw this one I just had to have it like it's amazing let me see is it gonna focus for you guys I don't know if it's gonna focus let me see let me see I'm trying to like okay 
So that's the hardware on it. And then this is the chain. It's a really, really, really nice belt. Here's the, um, the hook on it. It's really nice. And you can pretty much hook it in anywhere. So, did I get a size on this? I don't even know if they sell this belt anymore. But this belt, this is the truth. This was something that my wardrobe needed, so I got it, right? Very, very heavy, good quality. And I'll say this, belts like this, you want to always make sure that you are taking care of your stuff. Put it back in the bag. I leave it in the dust bag. There's no need for me to have this hanging out in my closet. Um, I do not want it to turn on me. And I almost, I think it's 100% brass because it feels like a bracelet that I have. But you want to make sure that you are taking care of all of your stuff that you spend your hard earned money on. So this is another essential. I'm going to try to find another gold belt in brass because I believe this is sold out. So if you guys are interested in these five, six essential belts, I'm going to link something similar, if not the same belt, but something similar. So if you're missing <laughs> your essential belts, make sure you are getting them. Like I said, anything else outside of this would be like a statement belt. And I have a statement belt over there, but I'm not even going to show it. So these are essential belts that you need for your day-to-day -day outfits, dresses, skirts, jumpsuits, regular pants, trousers, all that stuff. So that's it, guys. Make sure you have your essentials for your belts, guys. Um, and that's it. I have more belts, but these are belts that you need. And here's the thing. If you, I don't have a dark brown belt, which I, dark brown belt, which I need. Um, however, I'm being very strategic on buying it. And the reason why is because I don't want to just buy a belt that has a huge logo. I want something that is gonna be more classic that I, I can wear more often. So I hope that makes sense for you guys. So make sure you're getting your essential belts. Comment below if you like this video. Um, and if you stay to the end, make sure you are commenting Coco. We see you guys. Um, and follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NY and Coco Styles NYC and my blog Coco Styles NYC and my styling services Coco Styles NY. And like I said, if you stay to the end, make sure you are hitting that subscribe button. I don't know. YouTube is getting more fun for me. Maybe because I have a little bit more time to do the videos and stuff. But... I'm excited to show you guys the five, the six belts that I feel that you should have in your wardrobes as your essentials. You do not need a ton of belts in order to have a functional belt collection, if that makes sense. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.